and the military. Clearly, the military has been fundamentally and is fundamentally important, both as a, as a power broker, at times a power taker. Um, I've heard it described as perhaps the only stable aspect of Pakistani society. But again, the paradox comes into play here. Mm. I'm struck by two points that you make in the book. Uh, first, you say, the Pakistani military likes to think of itself as a big family, and in some ways is more like a big Pakistani family than it likes to think. <laughs> yes. And then you say, since 9-11, the Pakistani military has been forced into an alliance with the US that a majority of society, including the soldiers' own families, detests. So clearly, again, there's a, a tension here, both in terms of within Pakistan itself and, and in terms of, of our relations with the country. Mm -hmm. Well, my point about being like a big family is that big Pakistani families basically use their power to exploit the state, you know, to plunder the state. Mm -hmm. And the Pakistani army has done that on an enormous scale. On the other hand, its discipline, its esprit de corps, its ethos means that, you know, this, this is not, you know, a West African army. It hasn't just, the generals haven't just stolen the money and transferred it to bank accounts in London. They have spent it on the army and even to a considerable extent on the well-being of ordinary soldiers, which is what maintains the efficiency, the loyalty of the army. But of course, the loyalty of the army has been challenged in recent years by the fact that they are part of this war, uh, that most of them, uh, at least initially, really, really didn't like. And there were serious problems of morale for several years uh, because the soldiers were being told, even, even by their own families when they went home on leave, that they were acting as slaves of the Americans, mm, you know, mm. killing fellow Muslims to, to take American money. Now, that's changed uh, quite a bit in recent years when it comes to fighting against the Pakistani Taliban, partly because the Pakistani Taliban have emerged um, you know, as an obvious threat to Pakistan. And the army is dedicated, of course, to defending Pakistan against external and internal enemies, um, partly because the, the Taliban have committed so many atrocities in Pakistan, including against soldiers who they took prisoner, mm. which has mm. certainly strengthened the military's willingness to fight. Mm. But I'm, I'm sorry to say as well that um, one of the reasons the soldiers are now fighting harder against the Pakistani Taliban is that they've been told and they believe um, that behind the Pakistani Taliban stands India. And their entire mindset, you see, is structured around hostility to India and fear of India. Of so yeah. if they're convinced that the enemy is really the Indians or being backed by the Indians, they always fight much harder, mm. uh, which is, uh, I mean, encouraging it away mm. since they are now fighting hard against the Islamist rebels. Uh, in other ways, it is, however, an extremely sad comment on the Pakistani yeah. mindset in general, and the military mindset in particular. Mm.